what do you what do you like when you're faced with a blank page where do you kind of find ideas how do they kind of come to you it's well it's kind of changed over the years really i went from like the first my debut album that i'd done it was more of a it was I can't really explain. When I first started doing it when I was like 16, I probably started, no, I first started writing when I was like 15. And there were more just sort of like, I was trying to think of stories that had sort of happened to me. You know what I mean? You've got to embellish to a certain extent. But I always do music first. I never start with lyrics, like ever. Right. I always right. sit down, I'll do the guitar, get the bass guitar idea down. And then, I take it from there with lyrics. Um, and as I said, I, this the sort of new stuff that I'm working on now with the sort of equipment that I've got, it's sort of changed the way that I'm doing it because I've got so much more options. Whereas when I first started out, it was literally just me and an acoustic guitar. Yep. So it was kind of different. But as I said, the, the songs that I'm working on now, they've even gone in a different direction to the to the genre. They're a bit more maybe pop sort of kind of right. thing. So yeah, it's sort of changed over time, but but that's how I would usually do. It. I I never do lyrics first ever. I like so you basically speak. you basically come up with a chord progression or something like that or whatever just, it might be. Yeah, just the, I'll come up with a chord progression, then I'll maybe add a few different riffs or ideas, put a bass in it. You know what I mean? Just see which sort of way I'm going with it before I write the lyrics to it. Because sometimes I think you'll you'll do a sort of chord progression and it can be like a totally different vibe to what it'll end. You know what I mean? Like you can sort of do a chord progression that's a bit sad and then you put a drum beat in it, you put a bass in it and it sort of lifts it to a different place than what you originally think. So I like to get it to a point where I know where I'm going with it. And mm. then I'll start working on the lyrics to it yeah. so i'm assuming now that um you're uh, sort of writing your songs in front of a computer with you know your whole sort of studio set up rather yeah. than a uh, notebook pencil and pen or whatever and an acoustic guitar and you're yeah. right it does it does uh it does take it to different places because of course you know you get spoiled for choice yeah exactly um, yeah and so i suppose you write your song in that way and then it becomes a bit of a challenge just taking it back to acoustic guitar because you've yeah. done that. Yeah. Whereas in the other way, it was the other way around. Yeah. So yeah. Course, yeah. Sometimes yeah. I do, I do actually, as, as you say, when you say spoiled for choice, it's kind of, it gets to the point where it's kind of hard to mm. leave it as an acoustic track when you've got so yeah. much option. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But like yeah. I do, I do have on this new stuff. I do have, acoustic tracks you know what i mean but i think it sure. just changes the way that i record which i don't think is a bad thing you know what i mean it, it's just no, progression it's more immediate yeah you know instead of like calling your mate in who does bass or calling your mate in who's a keyboard player or whatever if you've got everything in front of you well then you can exactly. just go bang there it is